What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. Let's get into this, guys. <laughs> what is up everybody headed to the shop today today is thursday my monday your thursday first day of the week picking up my nephew son i call him my nephew son because he's my nephew but i take him everywhere do everything for him like he's my son so <laughs> So I'm picking him up right now, taking him to school. Today is Thursday. Um, I don't know what we're expecting today. Doesn't seem like there's too, too many people uh, a book today. So we're just gonna go out and do the best we can and see what happens. Uh, we'll take it take it by, by the day, you know, and see see, see what happens throughout the day today. But uh, picking up my, my, my nephew's son right now and head to the shop and then we'll see what this day brings us. So yesterday I went and made a, uh, a run to Jazzy Beauty. For those of you guys that don't know, Jazzy Beauty is this local uh, supplier that, li that that's around here. You know, I drive about 10 miles to go see them, but they have a lot of barber supplies there, guys. They have every machine you could think of. They have gels, they have stuff for retail. Um, and basically that's what I went for yesterday. I got Sanix, which we always need for the shop. I provide all the Sanix for the shop. Um, I got some shaving gel for myself for my station. My my shaving gel I share with Raul and, and, and Dave, so we kind of like uh, uh, share it. I bought some extra sh uh, uh, after shaves. I bought uh, uh, gel, uh, elegance gel. I don't know if you guys ever heard of elegance gel. Elegance gel, elegance gel is is a gel that you could buy uh, wholesale, relatively cheap. And you turn around and flip it for twice the price. I sell mine for 15 bucks, and they say they go all day long, you know. So uh, I had they had two different sizes, one size bigger than the other, and the the bigger size was only a dollar more per price. So I bought those also. Um, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought a a case of Cool Care, cause the Cool Care spray. I was already out of that too. Those bottles are ten dollars a bottle, but if you buy the case, you get them at seven dollars a bottle. So you save thirty six dollars by buying the case over buying one at a time. You know, so uh, I I bought some of those also. Uh, uh, you know, I, I am just spending about four hundred bucks on all the stuff that I got, but I got plenty of supply. I got different jaws, different stuff for my for my display. So today my display. I'm, I'm gonna reset it today, clean it off, wipe it off, and then set up all the new stuff with the old stuff, and, and, and you'll see. Plus, last night during the Dodger game, I was, uh, you know, I was setting up all my, um, I was making more t-shirts for the shop. So I managed to make 17 more shirts, and I made uh, eight hoodies for the shop. So, just trying to get everything sorted out, get everything good in there in the shop, and then, um, you know, try to make it look better. You know, I expect hopefully a, a busy weekend like we had last week. And last week was a really good weekend. I, I expect the same thing this week. So we'll see. But I'm here at the shop right now. I think that's my first customer. I'm already a little bit late. It's already 8.05. So I'm going to go inside and get started on this day, guys. I hope you guys are up. I hope you guys are grinding. Guys, this is all the stuff that I bought yesterday. Got these gels. Got the smaller gels. Some Sanix. Some uh, cool care case of cool care. Those are all the shirts that I made last night. So already looking right here. This is what we're looking at right now. It's looking kind of skimpy. So right now, when I add up all these jobs and put all this in here, you're gonna see it's gonna fill this all up very nicely. But before I do that, what I need to do is wipe all this down, get all the dust off of here, so we're set for the whole week. I don't have to do it later on. So we'll move, maneuver some stuff around, rearrange it, set it back up. And really fill up the shelf right now. Yeah. All right, guys, here's my setup right now. Almost fully stock. I need some more pomade, probably. You guys can see I got a lot of products t shirts, sweatshirts. I bought these ones yesterday. I got those ones, these ones, and those ones. 
Those are the gels that I got. So, the retail center is ready for the weekend, guys. We're looking sharp right here, I think. Well, these situations are very different, and especially so many things if they're kept in house. Get Black Friday deals now at Target. It's about one o'clock right now, boys. Relatively busy for myself. Unfortunately, the boys have not been busy. They're kind of just sitting around watching me cut. Um, <clears throat> I ended up getting already like probably like six or seven appointments. So it hasn't been a really overall bad day. I mean, we're grinding, but Raul only has one and Biz probably has like two. So it's just been a slow day for them. You know, it kind of, it irks me when it's like that, guys, because, you know, I feel bad for my boys. I want them to earn good, you know, and I want them to be working hard, but. When we're kind of just sitting around, it's it's kind of sucks, you know. And they're coming off two bad days. They they had bad days on Tuesday and Wednesday, so you know they they they're, they're trying to pick it up at the same time. They're trying to make money, you know. They got families, they got mortgages, they they got rents, you know. So um, I try to do as much as I can for them, but I, I I just can't bring in the clients, you know. If it's just a slow day, it's a slow day, you know. Remember last Thursday? Last Thursday was a great, great Thursday, and this Thursday is just the total opposite. So you guys saw what I posted up earlier uh, about the all the stuff that I bought yesterday, all the gels and everything. Everything's fully stocked. Yesterday I was making the shirts, the sweatshirts, and just packaging them up and getting them ready for for resale. Um, I'm fully stocked with all that stuff right now, so the, the shop looks really good. I'm really pleased about that. Um, so. Uh, did you guys check out that haircut that I just uh, that I just finished cutting right now? The little kid who was falling asleep during the haircut. Now it is the whole time I'm like, stay awake, Jacob. Stay awake, Jacob. Jacob, stay awake. You know what I mean? Because he's, I'm scared that they're gonna fall off the chair. I, I don't mind when they fall asleep, but when they start falling asleep and nodding away forward or back, then it's a problem, you know. So I'm I'm constantly trying to tell him, but he's a good little kid. He's been my client for a long time, you know. He's, probably his first haircut was done by me so he's already about six years old so he he's a big boy you know but 
At the same time, I gotta be careful with these little guys because you know you can't let them fall off their chair. That's a big, big no-no, guys. It's a big, big no-no. So I'm headed to the bank right now, get some change for the shop. Then I'll come back, finish this day off strong, guys. I hope you guys are grinding. I hope you guys are working. I hope you guys are not home, not doing nothing. Because you guess what, guys? If you guys don't show up, it can't happen. Remember that. Bring you back to life, right now.
discover battery power made by steel. Our battery AK homeowner system starts at just $199.99. Real steel. Find yours at over 10,000 local steel dealers. It's the cat. It's the no cat. It's the no cat cat. Some things make you guess it. But not Melchim. Melchim takes the guesswork out of email marketing by analyzing millions of data points with the billions of emails we send. Right, fellas, that's it for today. Day's over. Finally. Started off slow for you, huh? Yeah, very slow. Super slow for Raul, but me and he ended up catching up, kind of. So yeah. he ended up doing quite a few haircuts. Some haircuts are better than no haircuts. Yeah. That's like tell the importance, guys. You guys got to hang in there. Like, I you know sometimes I get frustrated for him when he's just sitting there, you know, like. But it's just it's something that everybody it's everybody goes through. And I've been through it. When even I was a time when I had to sit there and watch everybody else cut for a little while. I and mean, when you get your chance, you knock it out of the park. You know, yeah, that's, for sure. that's what it is. But it ended up being a decent day today. Yeah. By far, I did a lot of kids. A lot of my kids were coming through today. So, um, the good thing about hair, it grows out. Once it starts growing out, then the parents got to bring them back. It's a vicious cycle, guys. It's a vicious cycle. Yeah. So, even the parents will say, "Yeah, he needed a haircut." Like, oh yeah, because once you get them down and you get them nice and tight, especially if you give that super tight fade like we do here, you know, shave the bottom. Always shave the bottom, guys. Always try to get yourself a Bronze Series Nine and take that shit down to the skin, skin, so where it's nice and smooth. You know, mm -hmm. or even sometimes the little kids are like, ah, "Did you bald me?" You know, like, huh? Yeah. They'll be like, they'll be tripping out. So, but that's that's just you know that that's what that's what the difference between the quality of haircuts from different barber shops. That's why some shops charge less, some charge more. I think our our shop we were at, at a higher quality. Plus, you know we have a nice establishment. Plus, you know we try to give the best experience. Try to give a not just a haircut, but when people come in. Just a conversation. Conversation. You know, or like, for instance, like this, like this mom brought her son in, and she was like, "He might move a lot because he has like he has Down syndrome, or he's like there was something wrong with him like that along those lines, autism or something." Yeah. So I was like, "Oh, no worries." And I just kept it cool with him. We we're just talking about like we we're talking about video games. We we're talking about WWE, and we were just like just keeping a good conversation. That that showing showing that kind of uh, customer service to little kids like that will definitely have the parents like, oh, we're definitely gonna come back just because just because he was experience. He was so good with you, yeah, and you know yeah. you were cool with him, and you know like the little toy thing that we do with the kids, stuff like that, guys. You just you know you win over like I always tell you, you win over the kids, you're gonna be winning over haircuts for a long time. You know what yeah. I mean? Kids become teenagers, teenagers become adults. Adults have kids, and then it's a vicious cycle again. The whole over. barber thing's a vicious cycle. But that's it for today, guys. We appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you for joining in. If you're new to the channel, drop us a comment down below. Introduce yourselves. Uh, hit that sub button, that little make, red button. Right make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you throw me up a little thumbs up, guys, for the algorithm. But with that being said, see you guys. Mañana. Grind on. I said, pretty little mama. It really got me torn up. Making young and wanna pour up. You the one I wanna call up. I said, pretty little mama. It really got me torn up. Making young and wanna pour up. Hey, yeah, sipping on the double. Got me mixing up the trouble. Girl, it's for us. Why you got me singing on the chorus? Yeah, it's only 8 o'clock, this shit'll warm up. Still be yelling, welcome to the come up. She'll be chasing money till the sun's up. Sniffing on the brand. If you ain't got no Benji's, you ain't got a chance. Dropping when she dance, toss you back a glance. Tossing up her hands, got you in a trance. It's a pretty little mama. Pretty little mama. It really got me.
like torn up Making young and wanna pour up You the one I wanna call up I said pretty little mama 